Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope that you're all good and well. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and a lovely new year. Yeah, I thought in today's video I would do a what I got for Christmas and my birthday. My birthday's on New Year's Eve. So I usually, I did this last year, I just wanted to combine both of them just to show what I got. I love watching these videos. Um, I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. I just thought I would show you what I got for my birthday and Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna start with Christmas and what everyone got me and then I'll move on to what they got me for my birthday. But firstly, I'm just gonna start with what my mum and dad got me. So the first thing that I opened on Christmas day was this Hydra Flow like flask. Um, a few weeks before Christmas, I said to my brother, I think it was, that I really wanted a flask for work, um, but one that's got a handle and one that's got a straw just so that I can use it for hot and cold drinks. And yeah, and he got me this navy one. My brother got the matching one in black and it's huge. I don't even know if you can see on camera how big it is, but this is gonna be perfect for when I have to go into the office. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to use it. Um, and then just some little bits that she gets me, I say she, my mum and my dad, my mum picks it. Um, they get me sweets and chocolates every year. And something I get every year are truffles. These are the Marks and Spencers ones. They've got milk, dark and white, which I love dark and milk, uh, white chocolate so much. And yeah, I'm surprised I haven't eaten all of these yet, but these truffles are stunning. They're just so nice. Uh, the next thing they got me were some orange arrows. I don't think you can get orange any other time of the year. For some reason, I'm sure this used to be like a all year round thing, but um, yeah, I just only ever seem to see the mint one and I love orange flavoured chocolate, so she got me two bars of that. This is a bit of a random thing, but I love Jaffa cakes, but I find Jaffa cakes from like Tesco or anywhere, they're quite dry, like the outside is really dry, there's not that much jam in it. Um, and every time she goes into Marks and Spencers, which isn't often, she always buys me these, so she got me a pack for Christmas, it's the dark chocolate Jaffa cakes. If you have never tried these, you need to try but yeah, I love those. And then lastly, she just got me some Percy Pigs. Me and my brother absolutely love Percy Pig sweets. Um, and yeah, I don't even know. I think these are the tails. But yeah, I love Percy Pigs. Um, another thing I opened, I asked for these um, uh, because I'm trying to get back into reading. And obviously Colleen Hoover is really popular at the moment. <clears throat> so I got, it starts with us, I think I opened this on Christmas day. Um, this is the hardback one. It's quite hard to find them. I haven't been able to find them anywhere. So yeah, she managed to get both of them, but I'm really excited to read that. Okay, and then the next thing, I was not expecting this at all. Basically this year or last year, I, discovered how much I love DH Gay. I always knew what it was, but I was never sure if it was like legit or anything. Um, I've bought a few bags from there now and I literally love them. And I saw this in Louis Vuitton and obviously I do not have the funds for the real thing. I don't actually know if I could justify spending that much on a bag. I just like bags because I think they look nice. Um, but I kept seeing this bag everywhere and I just really wanted it. And my brother, bless him, managed to find it on DH Gate and told my mum and dad and they got it for me for Christmas but I think it's I think it's called the wave bag I might be wrong I'll have to double check but I mean it smells fake don't get me wrong like you can smell the leather but it just looks amazing like I just love it I think it looks so good um, you've got the chain if you didn't want to use the handle. Um, it's not that big, but it fits my phone and a purse in, which is all I need. And yeah, I'm just obsessed. I was so shocked to open that on Christmas Day. Next up from my mum and dad is something from Dior. Again, I was not expecting this. Basically, I went to New York a few weeks ago and in the airport, um, I smelled this perfume and I'm not like a massive perfume girl like I wear the same one all the time I usually get one for Christmas so I literally get one once a year um, but I smelt this and I've never been so obsessed with the perfume before but it was out of stock everywhere um, but yeah my mum managed to find it in John Lewis I think but it's the J'adore perfume I think this is what it's called um, with like the gold lid and it just smells 
amazing. It's such an, I don't even know how to explain the smell, but it just smells lovely. It's a nice big bottle, so it should last me a long time. Um, I do also like the clear, like it's like a gold liquid. You can see the liquid inside. That one's also really nice. I think this is a slightly more intense version of that one. Um, but yeah, I was so happy when I opened that on Christmas. Okay, I think that was all the little things from my mum and dad. Now for my main gift. I did not ask for this, but they just knew how much I wanted to get my hands on it. Um, and my brother, bless him, also put like the budget that we spend on each other towards this as well. So this is from my brother as well. Um, but yeah, I got the Dyson Air Wrap. I got the pink one. Um, I do love the new limited edition colour. But it's literally the same thing. Um, it's just in a night it's like it's a beautiful colour but I was like it's not worth spending the extra money and I really like the pink one and um, it comes in this beautiful like navy case um and yeah it's just got I mean mine looks a bit messy yeah I just went for the pink one and it's just got all the inserts in there so yeah that is everything from my mum and dad for Christmas right now on to my brother obviously he put money towards the Dyson Air Wrap and that was all I was expecting from him because he put quite a lot of money towards it, bless him. Um, but on Christmas Day he kept giving me more presents to open and I felt really bad because I didn't do it for him. But I actually knew I was getting this but I thought he was going to give it to me for my birthday. But um, I did ask him a while ago for the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker palette. As soon as I saw this... I just wanted it. I haven't actually used it yet, but it is beautiful. I think you can use this on your face and your eyes. But yeah, I was very grateful for that. Uh, he then gave me more packages um, I didn't know about. He gave me this Space NK bag. And inside, bless him, he basically knows how much I wanted to try Rare Beauty. I did get a Rare Beauty blush in New York, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, and I just wanted to try all their other bits and he went and bought me some stuff bless him so he brought me the positive light high return oh my god i don't know i think this is the tinted moisturizer i got it in 20w um and i can't wait to give this one a go um i love tinted moisturizers i haven't worn foundation for probably years now i just i do not like foundation so i'm really excited to give that a go picked this all himself he brought me the Perfect Strokes Eye Essentials and it's a liquid eyeliner and mascara. I haven't opened the mascara yet just because I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury one at the moment but ooh, the packaging is so nice. It's just like this tube so I don't know what the brush looks like and I thought the packaging of the eyeliner was really nice. It's like It looks like those pens that you draw on your iPad with. Um, yeah, I can't wait to properly try those. Again, thought that was it, and then he came over with another Space NK bag. It comes in a really nice box, um, and it's some more Rare Beauty bits, bless him. The Liquid Touch Concealer, again, ooh, I've wanted to try this for the longest time. Um, I think it's a tad light. I did actually have these shades written down somewhere, and he went and found them and bought them. But my Lancome concealer, my favourite concealer, is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to mix these both together. Um, and yeah, it should make the perfect colour. I really like the doe foot on this concealer. But again, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm really excited to try that. And then lastly, Bessem, he bought me the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer in Outshine, which is just a gold liquid highlighter. I guess you could put this under foundation. I don't know if that would be a bit too much, but... It's just a really, really pretty, like, gold colour. That is everything that my lovely brother got me for Christmas. Okay, moving on to my boyfriend for Christmas. Um, like I said, we went to New York the first week of, like, end of November, start of December. Um, and if you've been to New York before, you'll know it's not cheap. So we kind of just said like, we're not gonna go overboard with gifts this year just because <laughs> the first thing I opened was, wait, is it this way? So I'm completely obsessed with Harry Potter. 
I absolutely love it so much and I used to have a hamster called Dobby so he got me a signed like picture of Dobby um, and I have actually got Stranger Things on the back which is another of my favourite series I don't know if you can see but yeah it's just Dobby and it's just the actor's signature down there so that was quite nice so he got me a wet brush I think this is from Amazon it's from a brand called Nina Bella it's like a bluey grey and it's got orange specks on it um the best brush I have ever used. I haven't had a knot in my hair all week since opening this. Um, it really is. I haven't had a knot in my hair all week since opening this. Oh, I say that. <laughs> it really is an amazing brush. And I think it was like, I don't know, quite cheap on Instagram. Sticking with like hair. Because well, like I said, to be honest with you, now that I've got the brush, I didn't really need these, but I wasn't sure if it would help i know that certain hair types you can use like a silk pillow because it's a lot more like soft on the hair um so i did actually ask for the two silk pillows just to see if it would be less rough on my hair at night and he got me two from this brand again i think he got these on amazon um, and i have been using them all week um i just put them they're just these like pearly colored silk cushion covers he got me two of them um uh next thing he got me was actually an electric toothbrush which is very very handy i've been saying all year that i want an electric toothbrush and i just never got around to getting one why i haven't been using one i do not know but um yeah i didn't even know he was getting me this i should have asked for it and i completely forgot but yeah he just got me this electric toothbrush it's just black and white and then the case just has this like I don't know, flower. He just got me some lashes. He bought me the Pro Magnetic ones from Isla. I've always wanted to try this, it's like the liner, and then you stick the lashes on. So yeah, I'm quite excited to try those. Uh, I tried my hardest not to ask for makeup from anyone, but uh, when everyone was like, what do you want? All I think of is makeup. I just love makeup so much. And a few new makeup bits came out kind of around the time that he was buying my gifts. I was like, you know what? I would really like these. So he bought me two of the, woo, the two new Made by Michel uh, blush pressed. And then the last two makeup products he got me were actually from Dull, Dull Beauty, yeah. He got me the... I don't know what the shade of these are. He got me the Pretty Fly Cream Melt Melting Hot Cream Blusher. So yeah, this is like a cream blush and this has like gold pigment like glitter in it. Not glittery, but it's almost like balmy. I've never felt a cream blusher like it before, but it's really really nice. Like I can't wait. I don't know if you can see that. I can't wait to use that. And he then got me the Pretty Fly Glow Getters High Flying Gilded Glow Blush. Again, I've seen these all over TikTok uh, and I really wanted to try one. It's just like this peachy, pinky, like shimmery blush topper. Um, and yeah, again, not use it, but I'm really excited to give that a go. He bought me, I don't even know what it would be called, but it's like a makeup case holder, but it's this bit that i was really excited about so the lid comes off it has a stand i have actually seen influencers talk about this um it's from a brand called vanity it's like led or something like that um it's just got a button on the back and it just lights up you can turn it on and off here um and i just thought I'm, whenever we go on holiday or if we stay in a hotel i always moan about the lighting or I always forget to bring a mirror. Um, so yeah, he bought me this so I can, even if I just took the lid away, um, cause it balances. I just thought that was a really cool gift. And I was really, um, his mum just got me some socks. She got me some pajama bottoms because I literally work in those. <laughs> she got me like a white bralette thing from Sheen, which I definitely wear in the summer. It's just like lace. And it's like a bandeau but it's got sleeves um, and then she got me my all time favourite fake tan which is the Tanologist Express Tan, it's the water tan um, from my boyfriend's dad, actually this was from my boyfriend's and a granddad, she just got me a Dove gift set, it's got a gentle scrub and a 
deep nourishing care from his dad he also got me some dove he got me nourishing silk and a relaxing he got me some lindor chocolate and this i didn't know i was getting this basically i have two puppy french bulldogs and i am obsessed with them my boyfriend also has a frenchie which is where i discovered my love for frenchies um all three of them are at my house every weekend and i am completely completely obsessed with them and he got me this from B&M it's a Frenchy cookie jar I just thought that was so cute and it has a Frenchy like key ring so I might put that on my keys and then his head if I can get it just twists off and it's got actual Frenchy shaped shortbread biscuits in it I think once they're done I'm gonna put the boys treats in this um, but yeah I'm literally obsessed i guess they do all sorts of dogs but yeah this is the frenchy one when we were in new york i actually saw this and i bought i was going to buy it for myself and then he said that his dad would get it for me for christmas it's just a obviously fake but a ysl like it's like a bag but it looks like a massive purse um i don't really have bags in this color and i don't really have like i feel like this is a nice evening bag like a dressy bag um and the quality as well like i literally this wasn't that expensive and the quality is just so good it's like a beautiful like beigey color it comes with a gold strap so you can wear it around your shoulder if you want or it comes with a hand strap if you wanted to just hold it i guess um but yeah i really love that and i can't wait to go out <laughs> okay that is everything that i got for, oh i got some money from my nan and granddad as well but i put that towards the bed i bought myself a new bed because this one i do not like anymore i do not like the gray or the crushed velvet i'll insert a picture here of the bed i bought it's like a present to myself and now on to the gifts that i got for my birthday so i'm going to start with my best friend she came round she spent my birthday with me bless her and she did not have to get me anything but she brought me the shop um near us called Daniel's I don't know if it's a chain or if it's just a one-off but it's like a department store and they do really nice jewelry um so she got me this bracelet that just has a little n on it I don't know if that's gonna focus I still don't know how you get this it's just got an n on it and then she got me this other one and it just says forever on it I just thought they were really really cute gold chains I only wear gold jewelry um, and I really like little dainty bracelets like that. That was really cute. She got me a Kiko lip gloss, which are my favorite lip gloss. If you've not tried these before, then you need to. This is just the clear one. Um, they've got a beautiful pink shade as well that I need to go and get again because mine have run out, but we both love Kiko lip glosses. Um, and then bless her, she got me a Zara gift card. She spent way too much. Um, but yeah, I think when it gets a bit, warmer because i do prefer zara summer clothes to the winter for my boyfriend i don't actually have them here to show because they've not come yet but um because of all the delivery strikes and because of what they are they always take a bit longer to come anyway i've wanted these for the longest time um but he basically just bought me the panda dunks from nike but i'll do what my brother got me next so um, before I knew all the other bits he got me, I basically Boho Moon are my favourite jewellery brand. All of my rings, not my necklace actually, but my bracelet, I have other things from them. I literally live in them, I never take them off, which isn't good. I just couldn't believe how cheap it was, but yeah, my brother was like, I'll get you them for your birthday. So, I opened them for my birthday, I forgot all the things I ordered, but the first thing I ordered that I was the most excited about is this ring. Now, it's like focusing on me it's like a emerald green ring with like diamonds on the side of it um i think this is called the devon ring okay i'm really quickly gonna have to run through this the camera just cut off and told me i have no storage left on this camera so just quickly the other bits of jewelry he got me was this necklace i think this is like bamboo and it's just got an n on it he got me the matching earrings there is obviously another one but um yeah he got me these earrings although these are a tiny i did think they were gonna be a lot bigger but it's fine 
Um, this necklace I'm going to save for the summer. It's like a really beautiful, like, pearly necklace. And I just think pearls in summer are perfect. Uh, he got me this other necklace, which has another N on it. It's just like a black background with a gold N. He got me this necklace, which matches the ring, if it's going to turn around. It's from the, like, the emerald range. Um, but yeah, that's really nice. And then... I got an ear cuff, although this is really tight and it really hurt my ear, so I think I need to figure out a better way of wearing it. And then this is a locket. I used to be obsessed with lockets. Um, and I think I'm going to put a picture of my dogs in it, because I'm sad. But yeah, it just opens, and it's a really beautiful, like, heart locket. Um, the last thing from my brother, bless him, I don't like cake. Like, I haven't been bought cake for my birthday for probably ever unless I was a child because I just don't eat it but he got me a Millie's cookie which is my favorite if you've never tried Millie's cookie before then you're missing out um he got me just a double layered milk chocolate pink and red it said happy birthday Natalie on it it has I'm surprised there's any left to be honest with you because okay I just shoved you off so I'm sorry if the position has changed I was saying I got my boyfriend one for Christmas for his birthday last year and it went after like an hour but yes um that is everything that my brother very kindly got me next up for my mum and dad they got me two more books they got me the end of that so I can read that after and then I didn't ask this but my mum got me ugly love so I'm excited to read that then from Primark she got me some pyjamas I have the like kimono of this and I was saying how much I liked it and bless her she went back in there and got me the matching pyjamas and my kimono looks like this and then the matching like flared trousers I don't know whether to save this and just not open it for next year or like does it really matter it's a vanilla pumpkin room diffuser and I am in the middle of redoing my bedroom um but I'm like, oh, it's pumpkin. Like, can I put a pumpkin diffuser out, like, in the springtime? But it doesn't matter. I don't know. But um, I kept going on about it because she got a friend one. I was like, oh, I want one. And then from Pandora, she actually got this padlock and key from... Ignore the R. The R was already on there. But this padlock and key from Pandora. And the key actually opens the padlock. I am actually going to get another chain for it just because it covers the R up. But yeah, I just thought that was really cute. Oh, this is the other thing. She got me basically a black kimono. So it's the exact same as those pyjama ones that I've got, but just in black. And it's like this silky material and it's got like lace on it. And I just thought that was really cute. And then these, I actually forgot I asked these because we went into John Lewis. Blimey, probably back at the end of summer. Um, and I've always wanted to try these. These are the Way Chill Pills. Um, they look so nice. If anyone knows me, they know that I would literally live in a bath if I could. Um, they smell so nice. They're jasmine rose. And I think you can split these in half so you can get 12 baths out of these, I think. Next up is from Lush. This time of the year, Lush is my favourite because Snow Fairy. I feel like everyone loves Snow Fairy. Um, but she got me a Snow Fairy shower gel. The... Snow Fairy Roll Bubble Bar. I tried to get the massive one of this, but it is literally out of stock everywhere. Um, oh, it just smells stunning. And then I'm really excited about this. She got me, they got me this Snow Fairy Lush Candle. I did get the little one last year, but I've not burnt it. And I did hear mixed reviews on it. Um, so I don't know if this one is supposed to be much better. Obviously, it's much bigger. It's a four wick candle. Um, but yeah, it just smells bloody beautiful. I don't want to burn it. But And then lastly, from my mum and dad, bless them, they bought me some Charlotte Tilbury makeup, which I did ask for these because um, I wanted to try them. So the first thing comes in this box. Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish. Just looks like this, and it's the translucent shade. Love the other one that she's got, so... I'm excited to try this. And then it did come with a Charlotte's Magic Cream like sample. And then my favorite mascara, the push up, the pillow top push up lashes. And then in this bag, they got me the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. 
I have wanted to try this, like everything else I got, for the longest time. Um, she got this in the shade 3 Fair. And yeah, I've used, I have actually used this. I used it on my birthday. And it's a really, really lovely concealer. Um, and then lastly, they got me the Beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer in medium too. The cream bronzer. And again, I have used this and I really, really like it. So yeah, that is everything I believe yeah, that is everything that I got for Christmas and my 24th birthday. Um, thank you so much to anyone who got me anything. I really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year. And I am going to try my hardest to actually work on YouTube this year. Last year, I literally uploaded twice. Um, I feel like this year, I'm determined to try and upload like more than twice a year. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.